Hola, this is Sharon, and I wanted to share a mini album that I made for a swap on nothing but crafts. And my partner is Kim Cornwell. And by the time I put this up, that'll mean she already has it in her hands. Now I saw Luisa's, and I saw. Oh, I can't think of her name now. Zucchini Kitty. I think her name is Karen. And oh my gosh. It's like I'm so embarrassed to even share mine. <laughs> they did like um what with mixed media. I mean, oh just gorgeous. Mine is simple. So hold your breath. It's nothing exciting. <laughs> you don't have to hold your breath, I mean. <laughs> okay. So with my partner we discussed and she really said just anything and um, since Mother's Day is here I thought family would be a good theme and I had this paper and I know she likes earth tones and she likes um, burgundy so I thought maybe she would like this so we'll see so I have some brown lace here that I got from Roxy Car 11. This I bought when Luisa Diaz had her store. This I got in a rack from Luisa. And this other lace, uh oh, I forget who gave me that one. I forgot to write it down. Ah, I'm sorry, but you know who you are. I've gotten so many wonderful racks, so. I'm sorry I didn't write down. Then I made this crochet flower and put a Stampin' Up, uh, what do you call those? Ooh, what do you call those? What do you call those? You know, it has the little prong thing. You know what they are. Then I tied the binding with uh, this leather uh, straps here in brown. And I made this charm it has some birds and a sun and I think almost every single not every single but the majority of my charms are from my dear friend Laura who is Laura loves lace and then these beads were all in my stash so and this bead cover here I know is from Laura this pretty gold one. I wonder why it's showing so dark here. Can you see that? Okay. Let me move this light up a bit more, see if that helps. Okay. I'm going to lower this a little so you can see it. So I can lay it down. Sorry, Al. I want to ruin my Inspire from Laura. It's so gorgeous and her other card. So on this page I used, can you believe it, I used the beautiful lace that Angie, who is Queen Bee Creations, gave me. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And then I bought this several months back and I thought the colors went good together. So I can put a big picture of her whole family there. And then here it says family is everything. And I used envelopes to make this three layered pockets. And then I put paper, it can be tags, and it's craft on one side and then a design on the other. So she can either journal on one side or uh, put pictures, whatever she would like. So they're all craft on the back. So three pockets. And then this I got from Laura. And this I don't remember. And I did a mishmash of different papers. Uh, I always do that. I never stick with just one line. And I even used my washi tape. Look, right here is washi tape. Can you believe it? Well, so what do I have this stuff for if I don't use it? I need to learn how to use it more. Then here's another one of those stickers I bought a while back, and it says family. 
And then this I got from my, oh, now I can't think of her name. Maribel Scrap Spot is her, her um, YouTube, and she's from Portugal. So I got that from her a while back. I've been hoarding and hoarding. And then here's some flowers I had in my stash. And don't ask me what papers these are from. I just grabbed from what I had in my stash. Oh, okay. And then here I did a little doily, and then the doily flower and a button. And then I've got a paper clip here that's from Dear Tina. And we did our last swap in February. So this says family, and you can write everybody in the family. And then it opens up here. Other things may change, but we start and end with family. And then on this side has family roots and family memories documented. And I'll put in the paper clip later. So plenty of real estate. Plus she can put a picture there. And then this one. I know this is from that heritage or heirloom. What is it called? A DCVW die cuts with a view. It has a bunch of papers in it, but they're thin papers. And then I put over those. This family, we make, together we make a family. This is a Prima flower I got from SS Crafter One. These I got from Queen Bee Creations. And then I finally remembered to put the magnet under paper. So she can put a big picture here. And then I made a pocket here. And then there's a bunch of these little things that she can put pictures and journaling. C is for cherish. My big old arm is in there. Yep. Sorry. L is for love. And then, this is hard to show, there's another pocket below. And so it folds up. And folds down, and the magnet keeps it together. And then this is the last page. It says, Happiness, Smiles, Good Times. I love this paper, and it has like postcards. See how it has like little postcards and letters? And there's the other Prima flower. And the end, made by me. So I hope, um, Kim, you will like this. It is nothing compared to those multimedia ladies, but I made this with, with love and with care and hoping you will like it. And I'll be putting some other little goodies there too that by the time this video is up, you will have in your hands. So you guys let me know what you think. Is it too plain? Is there something else I should do? or? I tend to be more simple these days than fancy. And a lot of people say less, I don't know how, how you say it, less is best or less is good or whatever. But I like it, so I hope you will like it. All right, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful evening. And the weekend is almost here, Woohoo!